Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Tom Drivis from Romeo's Gold. How are you today, Tom? Great, Tracy. Tom, Romeo's Gold, 26, 27 years old. This company has been collecting assets located in juicy locations for 26, 27 years. Let's start there. How old is the company? I started the company back in 1995, so it's about 26 years old, um, uh, Tracy. And uh, you know, over the last 26 years, we acquired major assets in, in major mining camps in Canada and the U.S. We had a lovely investor talk that you hosted this morning, and everyone was asking you questions about the announcement you just made earlier this week. Let's start there. We uh, have decided to uh, hire or to bring in um, uh, Stephen Burega as president uh, because uh, uh, Romeo's has all these uh, great projects and uh, we want to get the story out. So uh, I guess it's uh, we need to sort of uh, uh, be more active and, and also uh, uh, tell investors uh, what we have. So we think we're excited that uh, Stephen has uh, joined Romeo's as president a couple of days ago, and um, we're we're laying down a, a plan of how to move forward uh, from here on in terms of the different projects. Do we uh, which one do we uh, work on, and which one do we um, spin off, or do we um, uh, uh, option out? Uh, so we're getting a plan ready for um, uh, for the Romeo's uh, uh, projects. Well, you invested a great deal into Romeo's Gold, and you have a lot of diehard shareholders. They've been with you literally since the beginning. Would you say that's accurate? Very, very much so. Uh, we've got some uh, uh, shareholders that have been uh, with us since the IPO 26 years ago. And they're actively uh, acquiring more shares on every financing that we do. And also myself, I've been uh, buying shares over the years. Uh, so we, we, we think we've got a, a, a very gr good uh, uh, close group of uh, investors, maybe uh, 20 investors that have the own the bulk of the shares. There's no question that the market responded very favorably to the appointment of Stephen Borrega as president. And of course, you have numerous assets. We asked you this morning, I'm going to ask you this for the Investor Intel interview. What would you say would be your top three projects that you are going to be focused on in marketing moving forward here with Stephen Borrega? Tracy, we're actually currently drilling uh, for copper gold uh, in Ontario, the uh, the landmark Cow Lake project, which is right next to the Muscle White Mine, which is uh, owned by uh, Newmont. Um, we also have uh, uh, about ten properties in in the Golden Triangle in 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 uh, BC. Five properties I, within the uh, the uh, uh, Galore Creek deposit, which is owned by Tech and Newmont. Uh, and uh, uh, we uh, uh, we've got one part one property there, the track that we've drilled before, and we know we have a, a, a copper a porphyry deposit uh, um, on, um, on on the north, uh, what we call the north zone. Uh, the ice have melted recently and exposed an area to the south, uh, and and we feel there is potential for another uh, copper uh, porf gold porphyry deposit there. And this is right next to the Galore, proposed Galore Creek uh, mill site. And, and the Galore Creek Road is going right through, through our Trek property. So that's another prop project that we were excited about. And uh, we've got this Nevada project that was a past producer. And you know they were producing gold, uh, uh, over 1,200 ounces uh, uh, per ton gold uh, those days. And we drilled some holes. And we had uh, four or five ounces of gold. Uh, on, on our drilling. So that's another one that we've done some work recently and we increased the size. So we've got three projects and, and unfortunately, uh, you know, I'm asking the same question to our uh, geologists, which one do you prefer? And, and, and they basically uh, saying they're all uh, equally uh, exciting projects, but being a small company, we're gonna have to sort of decide and we, we, uh, 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 which one we attack first and what we're gonna do with the rest of them. Now, Myself, when I was listening to your group communicate uh, in that presentation earlier, 
I heard two companies or two projects really prioritize the one in Ontario and the one in the gold in BC, the Golden Triangle. Um, although I did hear the Nevada one had the heel in the door. So could you explain to me why uh, the Ontario project was pulled out first? Why you think that one was naturally gravitated towards? Our uh, VP of Exploration, John Beeksock, uh, he was the um, exploration manager for the Muscle White Mine, the one that is owned by uh, Newmont right now for 12 years. So he has looked at the whole belt there. So we, we do have a very good understanding of the geology. And, and uh, uh, we've been working on, on and off for the last uh, 20 years on that project. Uh, but two years ago, based on uh, John's guidance, uh, we, we uh, drill uh, uh, in, in a new area and we came up with uh, very exciting results. The best uh, 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 gold uh, 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 intercept, uh, drill intercept since the discovery of the muscle line, mine, which is uh, 60, 70 years ago uh, on the entire belt, so eight and a half grams over four and a half meters. Plus we have a VMS uh, uh, target right there. And... Um, uh, copper, gold, and silver, and, and, and also we've seen cobalt in, in, on, on this uh, property. So uh, it's a, it's a natural. You know, we had some really good results. We had some we had some targets, new targets, and we did some more geophysics, some more work in the last few years. And and, and you know, we're, we're going to uh, uh, drill drill. We started drilling that one first, but we're quite excited on this Trek property also, uh, uh, <laughs> and. Uh, because you know, for the last uh, two three years, uh, John has been going there, our geologist, and is getting more and more interesting uh, 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 indications. Uh, so, and that being next to a, a, a major mining uh, mine and and next to a, a mill site uh, and within the the ground of uh, of uh, Galore Creek, uh, and uh, it's also you know all the infrastructure will be there too. So it's it's very exciting. And of course, indeed, this is very exciting. We've had a new appointment for a president to join this illustrious team. Uh, this company has been around for 26 years. Many of the shareholders have been holding long uh, and steady here all for the last couple of decades. We have numerous projects and we look forward to an update. And if I recall, I've heard copper, gold, silver, and yes, even cobalt. Is that correct, Tom? That's correct, Tracy, yes. Thank you so much for joining us and have a wonderful day. Thanks, Tracy. Appreciate it.